Good day folks, this is Nash from Test and the Gong and the reason why I'm making this video is because of a news article of how a young man trapped inside his hybrid vehicle lost his life because the car had got underwater because of the recent rains here in New South Wales, Australia and the reason why he passed away is because he could not open the doors to his car as the car had lost all electrical power to it. Now, if this were to happen to you in your Tesla, you must be familiar with how you can get out by activating the emergency release buttons in your cars. I'm going to demo this in the S3 and the X and of course the Y is just like the 3. Now before I show you that, my good mate Pete pointed this out to me and I'm going to read this verbatim. In a collision, in addition to the airbags inflating, the doors and lift gate will unlock, of course this is in case of the Model X, the hazard warning lights will turn on, the interior lights will turn on and the high voltage will be disabled. Now this is the promise that Tesla is giving you because Tesla has safety first as its mission. Now in case you are trapped inside a Tesla without electrical power, how can you get out? Let's see that. All right then, first up, let's look at the Model 3 and Model Y will be exactly the same because the Model 3 and Model Y share over 70% of their parts with each other. Now in your case, the screen may be completely blanked out and you may not be able to unlock or lock your car through the software button here and you won't be able to use this hardware button either. So this is the usual button that we use to get out of the car. When you press this, we can unlock and open the door. And this cannot be accessed because this is electronically operated. So you do need to know where the emergency release button is. And this, in case of the Model 3, is actually a tab. So this one, although it looks more like a cosmetic thing, it is a tab, which is the emergency release button. You have to just put your hand underneath here and pull this up. So this is a mechanical lever which can be pulled up, as you can see here. So when you do this, you can release this door and get out of the car. This is a mechanical lever and it is not an electronic button. It is recommended not to use this more often and it's only needed when there is an absolute emergency. The reason being, when you use this and the car is turned on, you will get this warning message saying that the manual door release button has been used and this may cause damage to the window trims. So don't use this, you will have to use this when the car is powered on and there is power in the car, this must be used only for emergencies. You reach down and pull this up and that releases that tab there. Unfortunately, there is no counterpart mechanical release tab for the rear passenger seats for neither the 3 nor Y. This is something that we've been asking Tesla to do. As you can see, there is only this electronically operated button to get out. Maybe you have to go to the front seat before we can escape out of the car in case you're stuck inside a Model 3 in the rear passenger seat. Now, this is something that we've been asking Tesla to implement. If you do know of something to get out of a rear passenger seat in the Model 3 or Model Y, please leave those in the comments below. It'll be useful for me and for the rest of the users of this video as well. All right then, now let's look at the Model X and Model S. The method to release both the front passenger and driver side door in both the S and the X are identical because these are mechanical handles and they do not need any electricity to function. All you need to do is tug on the handle like you always do and that will release the door and you can get out. I'm going to show that to you in just a bit as well. Let's go into safety and security. Let's power off the car. Let's power it off completely. Now the car is powered off as you can see here. And all you need to do is tug on this and this will open without any problems. Now, to get out of the rear seat of the Model S, you need to find a small little cut in the carpet here. How you can find that is, you can run your hand along the carpet at the junction between the seat and the carpet. Just run your hand along and you'll feel a small little dip go in. And that's where there is a small little cut trap door in the carpet. If you pull that down, you'll see a tab which is sitting there. You can see that there. You need to hold that and pull it towards the middle of the car and that will release the door. You can now push the door out and get out of your Model S. Now with regards to the Model X, it's a slightly different process. You must first remove the speaker grill, which is at the bottom end of your door. Give it some even force and tug the grill free of its latches. Now don't completely yank the grill off because there is a small cable attached to the grill itself. Just leave the grill hanging just like so. Now if you run your finger on the undersurface of the speaker, you can feel a metallic wire attached to a metallic bead, just like this. All you need to do to release the door lock is to tug this cable with the tug force directed towards the driver and passenger side in the forward direction, just like this. 
Mind you, it needs a fair bit of force and that will release the lock and then you can push the dough out. It does need a fair amount of force to push the dough out. So don't worry about damaging your dough. Nothing will happen to it. And the dough is designed in such a way it does not fall on your head when you try to get out. There you go folks, this is how you get out of the rear door of your Model X and it does not leave any residual damage to your door because I'm going to press on that red button on the side of the door and it closes the door right away without any problems. Now that's all folks, I'm really hoping that this video gave you some sort of information. You never know when you need it and it does pay to do a practice dry run when you are in your car next. In particular, the Model X rear door did need a wee bit of force to push the door out. So do check it out. Now, thank you very much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing to my channel and also click on that like button and do share this video with your family and friends who have a Tesla because it may be useful information which they did not know. Now, do consider using my referral code in case you are in the market for an S3X or a Y and both of us will get 1,500 kilometers of free supercharger credits. In my case, my free supercharger credits are tied to my higher car, my SR Plus Model 3, which are higher out of Canberra via ev.com.au. Until I see you guys in another interesting video very soon, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong, signing off. Peace.